Gear Challenge at SHOT Show 2023 at the Archer LL LPP. I started to say LLP, but at the LPP booth. And that's Archer, not as in Archer, the cartoon guy, but uh, an actual company. And I'm talking to Radim. How are you, sir? Hello. Shake hands left. Like Boy Scouts. We're shaking like Boy Scouts here. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Well, thank you for uh, making yourself available. Um, was just breezing by. We haven't previously talked, have we? Yeah. Um, like to know a little bit about your background and All what right. got you interested in the thermal imaging devices. Absolutely. So as you can see, it's Archer LPP. LPP is my company and Archer is a Ukraine company and we made a joint venture. When the war started, they have no possibility to produce uh, their products. So uh, be before we were partners, so they asked us to provide a facility and support uh, to start the production and we open up uh, the joint venture company and now all of the products are being made in Czech Republic. Okay. Yeah. There is more than 10,000 of units in Ukraine serving from 2014, so it's well battle proven and uh, all of the devices are made uh, robust and uh, according to mill standards and they are very uh, for our harsh environment. Yeah. You said you had You've had devices in the field since yes. 2014? Yes, absolutely. Approximately what has the percentage been of return for refurbishing or repair? Uh, basically, we don't have any repairs uh, regarding, uh, let's say, software and internal parts, only when something is breaking, you know, like the glass or, or laser range finder is broken, uh, we, we do the maintenance for them. And uh, what do they do in the event of some other uh, downside in the field? Do they just uh, dispose of them in the field, render them completely inoperable, or do you? I, I would imagine it might, may be difficult to get those devices back to Czech Republic, depending we, on where they are. We still have uh, the office in Kiev. Okay, so you do still have a presence in Kiev. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so all the support is on spot. Okay, so you still have a, a logistical it's like uh, opportunity. It's 30, 30 people are still in Kiev. Okay, very good. So. Um, what got you? What got you personally interested in thermal devices or uh, devices? All right. So I will show you our flagship. It's a sniper rifle uh, scope. The basically, uh, what is most important is that it has meteorological sensor. So you know the temperature, pressure, humidity, which you need for the ballistic calculations. Then you press it, press it up. Uh, everything inside your weapon. Uh, your uh, twist of the barrel uh, ammunition what you are using and then when you are shooting you press just one button laser range finder will get you distance and uh, the cross inside automatically moves so you don't have to uh, make any calculations by yourself so it's used by the snipers uh, for two and a half three kilometers uh, laser range finder works pretty well uh, but nobody shoots the distance in it. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay, and your uh, and and when did you come out with this flagship model? It's uh, from 2014. Okay. And it's being improved all the time. Now we are changing the course uh, for 12 micron, 12 microns. Uh, so even the picture will be more smooth and everything. And what is this model called? It's TSA seven. TSA seven. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, and of course, price cost is variable depending upon quantity ordered, etc. Are these government only uh, uh, purchases, or do you also sell to the private industry or contractors? Uh, most of the pieces is in the army, definitely. But uh, several hunters also like them. So. Say again. Several hunters also like them. Okay. So it's good. also being uh, sold to hunting business. Okay, very good. No problems with uh, export to the United States? Uh, it takes some papers, but mm -hmm. it's okay. Okay, very good. You're, uh, in, give me a, well, let's not talk about price point on it right now. Um, what's your next item? All right, so let's go for the movie center. This is the observation device, uh, which has several features. Uh, day camera, thermal camera, it has magnetic compass, it has GPS uh, and uh, laser range finder, so you can uh, easily uh, measure the coordinates of the target. We use it, for example, as an artillery target or target. For artillery? Yeah. yeah. We have Wi-Fi, we have Bluetooth, uh, cable connection, so whatever soldier prefers, uh, it can be connected to some command and control system uh, to make a ballistic 
calculations for the Hobitzers or for the motor motors. When did you de uh, design this device? When was this device available? It's like two and a half years. Say again? Two and a half years. About the last two and a half years? And uh, we have it in seven countries in the world. It's in, being used in seven countries? Yes. All throughout uh, 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 Western theater, Europe, or going into Asia as well? Uh, it's uh, several countries in Asia, uh, Czech Republic for sure, mm -hmm. uh, Ukraine for sure, and some African countries. Do you, are you distributing any in the U.S.? Not yet. It's our first time we are here uh, on the short show, mm -hmm. so we just want to show up. Right. And, uh, see what would what retail do. price be on this device? The retail price, let's say, uh, less than 40000 Less than forty thousand, and I should I should actually without going into variable prices, what would retail price be on your the the original uh, uh, scope? Uh, we are talking somewhere about twenty five thousand. Twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And you mentioned there was a third device you would like to talk about. All right. So we have more of them, smaller brothers and sisters for the observation. Mm -hmm. Also small binocular, which is just a thermal, but it has a laser range finder compass, so we can get the coordinates of the target also. Yeah. For example, this one. Uh, this is TSA 10, which is smaller than TSA 7, uh, but has all the features as TSA 7. Oh, it does. Yeah, ballistic comp uh, calculator and everything. But the lens is smaller, so it's uh, more or less used uh, for assault rifles or, or uh, let's say, short-range shooting. Yeah, so right. it's, it's uh, not that heavy, not that big, but still robust. Uh, military standards, everything. Very good. What would retail on this be, approximately? I don't know. If you know. <laughs> okay, no, no, no worries. I would have to check. For Stuart, $29.95, and that's $29.95, guys. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, anything else you'd like to discuss or or uh, uh, talk about? I'm fine. Okay. Other than favorite adult beverage, you don't like whiskeys? No. Uh, I think I'm, we mentioned that already. I'm, I'm vodka guy. <laughs> okay. Vodka guy? Well, yeah. nothing wrong with that. Good. Good. Uh, do you like cigars? No. No. I Pipes? No. Why am I talking to you? Why? <laughs> okay. Radim, right. it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Have a good trip home. All the very best. Thank you. And gentlemen, you too.